Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Accenture interview. The candidate had two years of experience working as a Java developer, and apart from Java, he was having knowledge about Spring Boot, REST APIs, and little about SQL that was used as a database. Okay, and uh, he he solved the problem. He was selected and he was offered a CTC of six LPI, that is six lakhs per annum. Okay, now let me tell you what was the problem. So he was asked to take the input string from the user and then find the duplicate characters in that string. Okay, when I say duplicate characters, that means the string should contain that character more than once. So that character count should be at the least two times, two or more times. Okay, that is going to be a duplicate character. So let us consider this is going to be the input string A, B, C, D, A, B. And here you can see A and B has been repeated here. So it is a duplicate character. So we need to print A and B as output because these are going to be the duplicate character. Okay. Now let me show you how to implement this. So the very first thing you can see here, I have declared a class print duplicate characters in string. And inside that, I have written main method, which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now, what I will do, I will declare a scanner type of variable to take input from the user. So here, I will declare scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner, and this takes a parameter system dot in that will allow user to enter an input. So this is going to take input from the system okay now i need to declare a variable which will be used to store the input so string str is equal to scanner dot next this method will give you string so this will allow user to enter a string and that will get stored into this string now what i'm going to do i'm going to use has set to find the duplicate characters because has set allows you to store only unique characters and what i will do i will start iterating over the string and while iterating over the string, I will check if the hash set contains a duplicate character, uh, contains the character in the string. If the hash set contains the character from that string, that means it is going to be duplicate character. Otherwise, simply I'm going to add that character into hash set. So what I will do, I will write a for loop and start iterating over the string. Before that, what I will do, I will declare a variable of type hash set. So has set of type character because it is going to hold all the characters and i'm going to name it as a character set equal to new has set okay and then now i will start iterating over the string characters by using for so for characters c inside str dot to char array this to char array method will return a character array of all the characters which are there inside this string okay and then i will start iterating over this character array by using follow now while iterating what i will do i'll check if that character set contains the string character or the character from the character array if that character set contains that character that means it is going to be duplicate character so what i will do i will simply print that character so instead of printing it on next line i will print it on same line and give a space okay so here i am checking whether that character set contains the character from the character array if it contains the character from the character array that means it is going to be duplicate character and simply i will print it on the screen otherwise what I need to do, I need to add that character into character set. So character set dot add that character. Okay, so now I'm done with the code and let me show you how to execute this and what will be the output. So here I'm running it, but it is not asking me, it is not printing any message to uh, enter a string. So what I will do, I will enter it as something like a b is ready a b and you can see i'm getting output as a b so before entering a string uh, last user to enter a string 
So here I will write a message to enter a string. Enter a string. And here now <coughs> it will ask a user to enter a string. So it will display a message and then I need to enter a string. So here you can see it is asking me a message to enter a string. And now I can enter here a string a b a d a b and you can see then a and d are the duplicate characters okay so guys that's it from this video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe that will motivate us to create more videos like this thank you bye bye